Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome back to Tarkov. I do apologize for the gap in videos, but, uh, yeah, for the last week I kind of had gaming ADHD again. Like, I, what what all did I play here? I played Red Dead 2, I played Yakuza Like a Dragon, I played Rocket League, I played Diablo 2 Resurrected, Di Diablo 3 Season, uh, Sons of the Forest, I tried the Wolong demo, I, I've been all over the damn place, and I, it, it, it happens. It happens a lot, but yeah, we're back. We're back and we're doing things again. So first off, I want to show you a quick little picture here. This is a scav run that I did probably about a week ago. This is what I came out with. We got our first graphics card and we got the ZB14 key, which is phenomenal. It's going to make life so much easier for us, especially because we're going to be going back to woods many times, I'm sure. I have also, as you can see, gone in and fi finished up the first three weapons for gunsmiths. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and task you. Turn in the shotty gun. Completed. That'll get us to farming part one. We've got to fix those two places. Gunsmith part two. We will turn that in as well. There we go. Completed. Beautiful. Gunsmith part three. Ah, uh, modify AMP3, okay, so we are missing something off of that. And signal. Alright, so what are we missing then? Alright, so, let's just take a look at this gun real quick. I do believe that we have everything on there that is required. Unless... No? Let's see here, what could I possibly be missing? So, it says... Hang on, let's go back here, back here. Smith part three, uh, MP5 with the 50 round extended silencer, tactical flashlight, and sighting of no more than two of more than 200. Oh, did they change it? Sighting of more than 200. How am I going to do that? Hmm. It appears I'm going to have to make some new modifications to this. This is uh, this has changed from the gunsmith. Uh, oh, what am I thinking of? The uh, the wiki, because that's where I got that info from. So we will deal with that at a later point in time. We are doing fine. We're going to go and check our dailies here. So our daily is eliminate PMT operatives, six of them. We can accept it. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to happen. In fact, I can guarantee it probably won't. Uh, custom smuggler's boat. I don't know if we're going to be going to customs today. We'll hang off on that until we decide. Hand over an MP18 single shot rifle. I have never, ever seen one of those in raid i don't think <sighs> again we'll we'll accept it if we get them but we're not going to make a we're not going to make a you know a time of it uh reach loyalty level two with ragman which how far off are we just need to get a level 17 perfect find and transfer two apollo cigarettes what do i get for that hp rounds at a couple of euros uh sure all right uh everything else i think we're pretty well set on we are good to go into woods once again we're again we're going to we're going to be trying to get that legs and head thing done i'm hoping that we'll be able to get this done but i'm also out of practice so this should be a delight so we'll go in and just see what happens uh anything to ensure nothing to ensure let us ride well was a little bit rough. Ended up in a... want to say 20 minute wait time. Before I decided that I must be in a, you know, lobby bug or something like that, so I escaped. And then I was leaving the game for another 15 minutes, and then now I just loaded back in finally. And it still took me another 8 minutes to get into the raid. They may be having some issues. Which, to be fair, if you're following the subreddit, you know that they are indeed having issues of one form or another. If you're not following it, I can give you a little rundown. One of the creators, the content creators, Name of Goat. I can't remember the full name, but everyone called him Goat. Put out a video basically saying that, hey, 
He has done the science and has found that on average 60% of his raids had at least one cheater. Whether they were using ESP, wall hacks, this, that, or the other, who knows. This video was posted several times, of course, because people love to post the same thing over and over again. Because, you know, Reddit. And, uh, yeah, mods were not too happy about it. And they took the worst possible stance and just started deleting every single instance of the video and shadow banning people who were putting it up. And, of course, this draw drew more ire from everybody. Everybody was still kind of unhappy about the whole situation. And Nikita decided to grace the subreddit with his presence once again. It's been quite a while since he has last been seen here. And he basically put out the same statement that he put out two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, placating nobody. So now we're at this crossroads where everyone is just like super irate. The entire subreddit is just in shambles. I don't really know what's going to become of it. It's going to be very interesting to find out. At this point, I just go into Tarkov playing with the mindset of, you know, it is what it is and I'm going to have fun. Or maybe not. Who knows? But I'm just going to kind of put it out of my mind and whatever happens, happens. But I will, like, I'm not saying that there isn't a problem because there absolutely is. On a different note, I bought a Steam Deck because I am a consumer whore. <laughs> I tried to talk myself out of it and then I ended up talking myself into it. I was like, I'm going to be traveling soon. I need something to entertain me, even though my Switch has been just sitting on its dock for God knows how long now. But I need something. Got to have it. So I bought a Nintendo, or not a Nintendo, a Steam Deck, and immediately loaded up Elden Ring on it, and was like, "Yep, here it is. This is it. This is this is my life now." I actually also put on uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon because that, you know, the turn-based combat on that kind of plays well with controller schemes. And as it says, every time you load up the game, really cues to play with a controller. It is known. Trying to decide if I want to do a pistol. Just a real generalized playthrough of Sons of the Forest. Part of me thinks that'd be a lot of fun. But at the same time, I don't want to get too deep into the game because that's the one thing that I remember about the original Forest was that I played the hell out of it when it was in early access and by the time it came out, I really didn't have any desire to go back and check out the full-fledged game. So I've never seen the full-on ending of the Forest. I kind of get the feeling that it's going to end the same way if I go for the uh, long play of the Sons of the Forest. Although apparently I was very much misusing Kelvin. Apparently dude can do all sorts of things. Like I see people using him to gather up like logs and bring them to their stockpiles. 
which is awesome. I just thought Kelvin was there to bludgeon with rocks and stuff. Shows that I didn't know what I was doing when I was playing. I am literally just meandering right now. I'm not even paying attention. I'm not, you know, doing anything based off of a plan. I'm just having a wander. I really don't know what I'm trying to accomplish right now. I know what I'm trying to accomplish, but I don't know what I'm trying to do to accomplish it. <laughs> We got a lot of stuff going on over here, so I'm going to venture a guess that Sniper Scav's already dead. What we may do is we may go back to the... Uh... Oh, what am I thinking of? The uh, Cult Village. Or the Sunken Village. Whatever you want to call it. See if we could find some stuff over there. I know that we had, like, we had good luck finding scavs at the scav bunker. But we never had the opportunity to do 40 meter stuff on them, so. Not sure if we're going to do that again. <laughs> Literally just random, grabbing random things now. I don't even know what's happening. I'm so out of practice. It's been a week. I don't remember how to play this game. Help. Somebody teach me. Maybe chatbot can do it. Chatbot, teach me to Tarkov. Armaj. Oh, actually, that was a silencer. We might as well take that. It'll be a little cash. The Vapor Hunter. Vapor the Hunt. Speaking of Hunt, I realized that I have not played Hunt Showdown in a month. Like, we played it hard to get all the unlock stuff done for the... What did they call that? The something moon? Serpent moon? Crescent moon? Sailor moon? So, we all got our battle passes, which, you know, still not sure how I feel about that. But we got them up to, you know, top, top level, got all the unlocks, and then just stopped playing altogether. DMZ, uh, Call of Duty DMZ, kind of took over our, our gameplay. Been having a lot of fun with that, although it's funny because the second season of their DMZ has started and they were like, yeah, we have revamped the questing because we realized just how difficult they were. And we're like, okay, cool. Yeah, some of them were really bad. Or what the hell that was. And so... You know, we went in, we did the tier 1 quests, and then the tier 2 quests unlock and they're still just as ridiculous. Somebody is playing over in the village. Thing with explosives too. Perhaps we shall just start heading towards ZB14. See if we could find scavs over at the scav house. It's not that I don't want to get into combat. I just don't particularly want to come get into combat with this particular kit. This pistol is not going to save me from anything. And I'm a terrible sniper. So, you know, 
That's basically what we're working with here. <laughs> so over there is Yusek Camp. It's casually walking past. one of the weirder things about woods is that sometimes you can literally just walk from one end to the other just casually even just standing in an open field huh I honestly thought that would get me shot at Usually when I say words, the opposite happens. Seeing any scavs over at the roadhouse or the checkpoint or the whatever. God, my brain is just a mess today. <laughs> Do you know what? It's okay. Everything is okay. There is nothing to fear but fear itself and turtles. Turtles are massing. They're coming for us all. I've given you ample warning. The rest is up to you. So let's go up on the hill here. Let's check checkpoint. And we'll check scav house. Well, I know at least one of those counted. <laughs> Literally one of them counted. He ducked! Oh, for the love. I am potato. No, keep. Where'd that other one go? over at the scave house. Ah, ah. Right, can I zero this thing at all? Oh, I shot him in the chest, I think. Boo! Sneak it up a man like that. It's dangerous.
I don't know where the other one went. I'm gonna go ahead. Just in case here. But it's so strange that I could do it that way. I wonder if that was a dude that I liked before. Sure, that last one was a player scav. Well, I've been wrong before. This gun is amazing. That's a little bit better. Head. He done rang my bell. I feel like this may be a good opportunity to move out, maybe reset here. feel like playing the woodsy peak. <sighs> I 
All right. I think we're going to play the use it until we lose it for this kit, though. Either that or once we, you know, complete the quest, but. All right, so didn't count. Didn't count. Leg, though, so that's good. Uh, headshot. Okay. So we got most of that done. I was slightly disappointed I did not... I, I think the problem is, is that I kind of get bored of trying to do something and then just go, okay, I'm just going to go, you know, do literally anything else right now. And that's where I end up. So many things to sell. Uh, all right, so top up. So uh, we can't top that up. That's fine. We could do this. There we go. I'm not sure why I'm still using this when it's like we've proven that it's really not that great. But, you know, been working. Uh, let's go ahead and eat and drink here. So, oop. use all, use all. Worried about dealing with the rest of the stuff later. Go ahead and munch on one of our sprats. And we're good. What we need to do. Uh, how many more do I need? Oh, I also figured this out. I figured out what I was missing on this. Hang on. I will show you in just a second because I can go into here now and I can go to Gunsmith Bar 3 and do turn in. So, it was literally this little guy here. The drum rear sight. It didn't have the rear sight on it and that's what it meant or needed. Figure that one out. Turn in. Perfect. All right, I have a lot of stuff that I need to accept, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. I don't really have the room for it. I will deal with that off camera. Uh, I think we're pretty much just good to go. Let's go ahead and take this Kavas in with us in case we have another long one. We shall go to the woods again. And... I'm not really a fan of these, so I'm not going to insure them. I'm just going to leave them be. If they drop, they drop. Hey. Okay. Speed loot. Speed loot. So I forgot about another game that I was playing called Brotato, which the name itself I love, but. It is kind of like Vampire Survivors, only instead of just collecting things and leveling them up as you go, you it's wave-based. You kill as many things as you can before time runs out, and then the wave is over, and then you buy upgrades and new weapon slots and such. And despite the fact that it almost feels like a Flash game, like, super fun. And a lot deeper than I expected, so... It's another one of those where it's five bucks. You can't really go wrong. Somebody apparently has immediately called in an airdrop. Is this Hawk Benton or is this Ibuprofen? Ibuprofen, that's like 40,000. A couple of people duking it out with each other. Can't really hear them, but they're doing it. Again, we're just checking for loose loot and then we're getting out of here. We need to get ourselves to a place where we can start uh, shooting scavs. And just because I am so smart, 
I forgot to check how many I need. One and one. Perfect. Yeah, a couple of boys are shooting it out over at what I assume is the log pile shed thingy. Very tactical when it comes to names. Sniper scav is up. I'd like to get a little bit closer, though. We do have to be careful, though. We remember what happened up here last time. Can't see the sniper from here. Zero to fifty. No, I think somebody just shot the sniper scav. It'd be the worst possible outcome. Can't see them at all. Not going to risk it. He said, fully preparing to risk it. It's not going to work. I think instead we're going to try to cross over. It's going to be risky. People might be staying camped out over at the shack over there. That's pretty much what it just sounded like. Hmm. In terms of dangerous positions, I am definitely in one.
You'll never suspect it right up the middle. They'll never suspect it. I have tricked them all. What did he get me with? A single shot in the stomach? No. Head. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. That will definitely do it. Okay, well, I think it's scav run time. Oh, not that I have a lot of room to be, you know, putting scav stuff in, but... Oh, God! I almost for Oh, my God. My brain. <laughs> we have hideout things to accomplish. Things are ready. Things are prepped. Let's get in there. Hideout. Lavatory, level two. Security, level two. Bed station, level two. Shooting range, level one. Intelligence center. Filter by, factory map. Level one. <laughs> and finally. It's time for the gymnasium to be built. Filter by, purchase, yes. Didn't get it. Filter by purchase, yes. Filter by purchase, yes. Got it. One more. Filter by purchase, yes. Got it. Constructing. On the next video, we're going to be pumping some irons, baby. We're going to be there. We're going to be with it. We're going to be hip. And now we're going to go into our scav. Where are we going to go? What do we need to do? I don't even know anymore. What am I, what am I looking for? Any items that I need? I still need another morphine, so I guess we can go to woods on the scav and just hit up the fob. Or, do a shoreline run and hit stashes. We could do interchange, or we could do customs, or we could do reserve, or we could do... So many things we could do. You know what? Haven't done reserve in a bit. Let's go to reserve. Why not? Wow, we're starting at 32 minutes. Yikes. Well, and we're starting in a very unpleasant place, too, because I need to be over there. I guess we'll just make do and make our way over there. I'm just a friendly neighborhood scav. There's no reason to fear me. Simply here on vacation. I heard that this is a lovely destination. That I could find some fine souvenirs. I don't have a backpack. That is unfortunate. Seems wasteful to have that on right now. I don't know. Also, what's powering it? It looked like a scav, but it may have been a player.
Hard to tell. We're not going to harass him or anything. We'll just move on. Oh. believe that was a scav. Like he was wearing the biker's jacket there. Ooh, spice! Spice! Ah, no! My legs! found PFZ. <laughs> oh, it's so rude. Doesn't even say hello first, doesn't even try to communicate, just shoots immediately. See, this is why I don't take vacations at reserve. It's too hostile. <laughs> All right, well... I do believe that my brain is absolutely mush at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next exciting adventure. Adios.